What's a messy mob? It's your girl Messy Maya, and I am back again with another video. So today we're gonna be getting into some mess concerning their reunion. Girl, this is like my little late reaction commentary reaction channel. So sorry for being late, but you know, yeah, better late than never. Anyways, so I'm gonna hurry up and get this out before the reunion actually comes out this Sunday, like two days from now. So yeah, I am real excited, girl. I just want to give my thoughts and of course the drama that is, you know, the recent drama that is surrounding this reunion. So let's go ahead and get into it. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe and turn on that post notification bell so you know every single time I post a new video. Girl, it's Messy Maya. It's the Messy Mob. Girl, we are late over here, Chess. I believe that, and yeah, let's get into the mess. So the trailer starts off by letting us know that it will be hosted by, of course, the Nene Leaks and Janisha. Now, no shade to Nene Leaks, but I remember the promo for this, okay? Mr. Lemon Pepper Stepper was trying to get us excited for the host for the reunion. This you, you girl, you know, this, that, and third trying to build up hype. And he basically was trying to get the audience to guess who the reunion host was gonna be. Now, I remember this, okay? And no shade to Nene, like I said, but it's like he, the way he did it, he made us feel like New York was gonna be the host because he basically marketed as the queen of reality TV. He was like, oh, we're gonna have the queen of reality TV as the host for the Baddies East reunion. And then the next day, he shows NeNe Leaks. And me personally, I just feel like I was bamboozled, child. Anyways, so, but anyways, I still feel like NeNe Leaks is going to be a really good choice for the reunion. I feel like she is going to, you know, give us some new memes, child, this, that, and the third. But, um, Miss Janisha, okay, girl, I, I, like me, like, girl, no shade, girl, you super cute, girl. Super cute, look like you was rocking that little <laughs> blunt cut bob chow. But you know, that's not the point. The point is, Janisha, baby, if you're you, you just need to step it up, okay? Because I can already see it now that they are going to be talking over you, they're going to be girl, just they're just not going to listen to you, girl. You have no type of control over these girls. I honestly don't understand. Well, I understand, okay, because you know, what, yeah, girl, you girl, I, I understand, okay, I get it. Because you went lemon pepper stepper, but it's like, girl, I really don't understand because it's like you have no control. And even when you are hosting, when you gain some type of control, you're you're kind of boring. No shade. No shade. <laughs> no shade. Like, you know what I'm saying? I really just feel like, girl, if you're not gonna knock Scotty on the back or anybody else, girl, if you knock if you're not gonna knock their lights out, child, I don't even understand why you there, girl. I really don't. I just don't get your purpose because, like, you got all these women on stage that be fucking and sucking on your man, allegedly. <laughs> and you... <laughs> so I just don't understand what's her purpose. Like, I really don't, child. She's just not that interesting, girl. Anyways, so yeah for the love of god i don't understand why we need this like no shade to him i'm not gonna lie i feel like um the baddies theme song i feel like it gets better every single year he be doing his thing no shade like <laughs> no i'm putting emphasis on no shade but really though like why are you performing on stage like i really just don't want to see another drawn out performance girl we don't even like it when jocelyn come out on stage and perform on her own show we don't want you to do it child we don't why is it Cause I just know this is gonna be like a like a I just don't want to see it. Me personally, girl, we hear the song at the beginning of every single episode. Girl, I promise you, we don't want to see this. <laughs> Please keep it. Camila said that Roly is going to. <laughs> Camila said that Roly is going to make her come out of retirement, and Tessiki was looking at her like the next little clip that they showed in this trailer was Smiley and Biggie, and they were basically going back and forth because Biggie was like, "Girl, you left me for D E A D, baby. You left me for D E A D. I was feeling for myself. I was by myself. I told you, you know what I'm saying? Because technically, um, at one point in the show, the odds were against both of them as the girls wanted both of them to leave." Leave and wanted both of them to get evicted the girls you know what i'm saying girl the both they both got eviction notices 
on the same day. You know what I'm saying? So I'm guessing from Biggie's point of view, Biggie was just like, we really should have rode together. You really should have stuck with me. But instead, you left me by myself. Which is crazy to me. And I, like, don't get me wrong. I love me some big demeanor kind of, but it's like, baby, I got to call you out when I feel like you're wrong. And I'm I'm, I'm not going to, I'm not going to do too much because I still want to see, like, you know, I'm, and I still want to see your point of view and get a little bit more of what you're talking about. But it's like, girl, based on this clip, it's really just like, before the whole eviction thing started, Smiley literally had an alleged MC. Y'all know what I'm talking about. And it was literally like three, four, five on one. Rolling through the drink, Mariah Lynn snuck her, followed her to the kitchen, snuck her again. This girl is literally hovering over the counter, holding her stomach. She tried to walk away again. Mariah Lynn keeps on sneaking her. Then Sapphire comes out the cut, puts her on the floor. She's swimming. Get her back up. T snatch her chain. Mariah Lynn's still trying to sneak her. Like, it, it was just a lot. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, when she went through all of that, girl, where were you? Uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, and it's like, no shade. Like, you really just came into the house, so you really didn't know what was going on. But... I actually just rewatched that scene just to make sure that what I was saying was correct or at least I could, you know what I'm saying, girl. And you, in, in the midst of that, you were actually on Suki and Sapphire and Mariah Lynn's side when all of the odds were against Smiley. And this was before you guys got handed the eviction notice. So again, <laughs> you, 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 you telling me that you, 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 like, I just don't understand because in the midst of this, Biggie told Smiley, I told you to do this to her. And Smiley said, who are you to tell me what to do? And then that's when Biggie hauled off. And you, girl, y'all know what happened, child. Girl, I ain't gonna lie, girl. I ain't never seen nobody get, girl. I ain't gonna lie. Like I said, girl, me personally, and I'm gonna stand by this. And Biggie even admitted it herself. Girl, Biggie cannot fight. For, girl, she just can't. But I'm telling you, that girl got some strength on her. And I've been saying this ever since she sat stun a girl in a chair with one hit, girl. I'm trying to tell you, that girl got some strength on her. She just don't know how to get down, okay? But the girl is strong. Chow. Anyways, so, yeah. So, it's like, it, it, it's just weird, like, that you really... I just feel like, honestly, I just feel like Biggie does not like Smiley. And Biggie was going to find any reason. Biggie was... To, to impress House B, and I've been said this, Biggie was going to find any reason to do her big one on Smiley. Because Biggie never liked Smiley throughout the show. You never liked Smiley. Come on now. But you're trying to make it seem like now you don't really mess with her because she didn't have your back. You never had her back. You laughed at her when she was having a seizure. Like, why would she Why would she have your back? Smiley, what did we learn, baby? Like, you, <laughs> like you taking out your anger on the mirror is not smart, child. I am not gonna lie, no shade, girl. Biggie ate this part down when basically she said, <laughs> Scotty told Biggie that she did too much. She was like, you do too much and that's okay, you do too much. And Biggie was like, you do too little. <laughs> and I'm like, girl, I know that's right because girl, like you, Scotty was really not a good friend to Biggie. So Biggie like really handling her business with Scotty does not surprise me, nor am I mad about it. Because Scotty, girl, you are fake, girl. You are fake, Miss Girl. Girl, you never had an issue with Biggie, but you wanted to D-ride and you wanted to meet Munch, Natalie, and Roly. You know what I'm saying? And uh, girl, just girl, girl, goodbye, girl. Everything that you got from Biggie, you, I feel like it was well-deserved. This clip was very fast, but thank th thank you to the T-Pages on IG for slowing it down, baby. Um, They actually showed while Biggie and Scotty were getting into it. And Biggie, you know, did, did what she did, girl. It was nasty, but she did it, girl. Anyways, when Biggie did what she did, it shows T coming out the cut and sneaking Scotty, girl. And then in the next clip, it shows T running from Scotty. <laughs> T. This is my thing, girl. My thing is, is girl, you, it, you, okay. I'm not mad at you for doing what you did to Scotty. Although I feel like sneaking is a little bit scary. It's just, you know what I'm saying? She didn't give you any more respect on the show. So it's like, it really don't even matter. She snuck you on the show while you was getting into it with E.T. So uh, don't really matter, girl. Um, uh, yeah. Girl, Car Karma gonna spin the block. So, I'm not mad at T for that. But it's like, girl, if you gonna sneak somebody, can you at least stay for the fade? Can you not run away? 
What you what you running for? <laughs> what are you running for, ma'am? E.T. in this stiff run up. Did y'all peep E.T.'s run up? Like, I feel like nobody's really talking about it. Like, did y'all peep how stiff? <laughs> did y'all peep how stiff her run up was? Like, she literally came up on stage with Rolly, came up on stage, kicked off her shoes, and like her, she ran like Naruto or like an anime character. Like, girl, what the- <laughs> like, why are you running like that? First of all, like, first girl. Anyways, and <laughs> child, I don't even know what else to say about it. But this was very random not expected um clearly she did it because somebody told her that natalie was setting her up so she went for natalie first which honestly i just don't know how to feel about that i can't i mean girl like the only thing i really i'm gonna give et her props because i feel like nobody else on stage i don't care what none of y'all say nobody else on stage is bold enough nobody girl come on now nobody else is bold enough to run up on natalie girl Roly did it, Batty South mopped her all up and down the reunion stage, girl, then became the girl's lap dog. Nobody else is bold enough to call Natalie out on her ish. Hold on now, I'm not gonna say that. I'm not gonna say that yet because we don't know how the reunion went in low-key but high-key. I've heard from multiple people on the cast that they did have a lot of dialogue, so I'm not gonna say that, but I will say I feel like nobody is bold enough to call Natalie out to the point where they get their lit back. Like, like we, we're not going to sit here and act like Natalie, like, yes, House A was doing a lot of damage on the show as far as, like, bullying and stuff. But Natalie was the ringleader to all of that. So, me personally, I feel like if E.T. and Rowley is getting mopped all up and down the stage because the girls were sticking tight to them, I feel like Natalie should have... But, they, but they're not going to... What I'm trying to say is that they're not going to do that, though, because she's an EP, this, that, and the third girl. But... I feel like, girl, you you talent. You a cast member, girl. You should be, girl, don't be dodging no smoke. You should be getting smoke, too. What? Ain't no sitting up, sit, girl, girl, boo. Ain't no sitting up on stage pretty, sitting pretty after all that stuff that you did throughout the season, girl. So, I guess I will give E.T. her tens for doing that, I guess. Natalie calling E.T. a wild Adam animal is really just like, girl, I mean, like, the, okay, and she was acting like that on the show. <laughs> my thing is is that i don't disagree that et was acting like a wild animal but it's like girl you all of y'all were like not only were all of y'all were but girl you were the ringleader of it and you supported it while it was on the show but now that she now that she done uh stole girl now that she done uh motherfucking ran up on you now you mad oh now she a wild animal girl she been girl she been acting like that like i really don't even know what else to say about like she oh this is not a baddie this is a wild animal So where was this energy on the show when she was hauling off and literally hitting people, packing people's stuff, trying to evict people, bullying people for absolutely no reason, trying to secure herself some storylines, okay? And it benefited you because, girl, you was the ringleader of all of it, girl. You supported every single thing that she did on the show. But now that this, now that she acted like it towards you, oh, now she a wild animal. Girl, boo, bye. Y'all, okay? No matter how much, I, I don't, I really don't care, like, I don't care how much I like somebody, how much I feel like somebody ate down. Baby, I am never going to condone somebody calling a black woman a monkey. I'm never going to condone a black woman calling another black woman a monkey. I'm not going to condone a black woman making fun of somebody else's heritage, race, anything. I'm just not going to condone it, baby. I just don't play them games. So all that, oh, well, um, on on a mat called Roly a monkey, but like, um... Roly, Roly was doing this to Biggie, baby, we been, baby, that's okay, she did, and, and we been clocked her tea about it, and Roly, and like, what, girl, we, girl, we, girl, we read her down for filth for doing that, especially me, baby, all the way from the Baddies East auditions, when both of them were, um, uh, judging on the panel, when Roly was being mean and ignorant towards the Dominican speakers that were coming up and getting tickets from Biggie every single time they were speaking Spanish to me. Girl, from the time that Biggie stepped foot into the Baddies East house and Roly was still making fun of them, and when the other Latinas in the house were making fun of, was making fun of Biggie as well. Okay, I stuck up and I spoke up, baby, so why would I not? Like, y'all not finna make me feel bad for speaking up for Roly. And, I, and y'all know, I don't even like them. I don't even, I don't even care for Roly. I don't. Don't bring her back. Don't bring her back at all, ma'am, sir. Okay, don't bring her back. I don't care for Roly, but I'm not finna sit here and act like it's okay for a black, for like, girl, I'm not finna play with y'all. And y'all would never make me feel bad for, for, for speaking up for something like that. And y'all really tried it. Y'all really tried it. Especially, um, with y'all trying to bring up the whole Biggie thing, which is valid. It's valid. It's valid. 
she was wrong. Rowley was wrong for that. And I called her out for it. So y'all could never clock me. Oh, y'all, y'all didn't care when Rowley was doing it to Biggie. Who didn't? Baby, don't put me in that category, baby. Because you can go down my videos, girl. Multiple of them. I say at least more than five, baby. I called I call the girls out every single time they made fun of Biggie. Girl, come on now. Don't do it. Anyway, so aside from Anna Mac <laughs> referring to Rolly as a monkey, okay, aside from that, I feel like Anna Mac ate the reunion down from what I seen, okay? The girl, it really seemed like she was having fun, girl. It seemed like she was not taking nobody serious. It seems like she was running her fades, this, that, and the third. Um, I don't know, girl. We're just going to have to see, girl. It looked like she got really a little bit. I don't want to speak too much on it, but it looked like she got you, really, girl. It looks like she was tiring you out, girl. She was hopping in circles. She got you, girl. She stayed at a distance. She got you, girl. I just, girl, I'm not going to lie, really, I'm not going to lie. On the neck, ate that. Th- girl, she ate down. I'm not going to lie. Not when she called you what she called you, but when, in terms of y'all getting into it, she ate down. That's at least what, I, what I'm looking at. And, 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 and let me just say this. I'm going to just say this. Baby Camila, I don't know, I don't know what was the outcome of all of that, but uh girl, and, and, and I'm not gonna say too much, especially because I feel like Zeus is very biased when it comes to editing and all of that. So I'm not gonna say that they got Rolly's good side, but maybe it looks like they got Rolly's good side, girl. It do, but it looked like you was getting down too. You know what I'm saying? Like you 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 did a lot better than what you did with Natalie, and I'll give you that. You know what I'm saying? You really did. But I, I'm going to say this too, girl. That square up was not T, girl. That square up was not T. I don't know what that square up was, child. It just, I don't know. But, girl, we, we just going to have to see when it comes to this, girl. It looks like they got really good side. It looked like really was tearing you up. But it also looked like, girl, that you was getting down too. And I can respect that. <laughs> girl, oh my goodness, girl. I'm not going to lie, girl. E.T., girl, it looked like you got turned every way but loose. And, um... Girl, I, I cannot, I'm not going to lie, girl. I cannot wait to see her and Tessiki's rounds, girl. They was literally going round for round, like, in, like, three different outfits, both of them. And I'm not going to lie, Tessiki kind of looked a little tore up, too. But, girl, it does not even compare to how E.T. looked, child. E.T. and Mariah Lynn got into it. Um, That outcome, honestly, was not surprising. <laughs> Mariah Lynn got tore up from the floor up. Um... Sapphire and Mariah Lynn got into it, which again, I feel like Sapphire, girl, you get no cool points, girl. Um, you did nothing in that moment. You were still friends with ET in the house when it all went down. You were acting like you, girl, good goodbye. But you, you, you was, you were so scary that you wanted to focus your attention on Mariah Lynn instead of getting your lit back on ET, the person who really did something to your best friend in the midst of the, you know, the altercation between you know, Suki and Roly, but it's like, you want to wait to the reunion to get cool points with the fans and to uh, get, girl, 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 chat, bye, you know what I'm saying, girl, no cool points for me, and that's why you, it looked like you got knocked, girl, but I'm not going to say too much because, you know, they only showed us a little snippet, but Sapphire got on live and even admitted to losing, so yeah, anyways. So one thing about it, and two things for sure, when these trailers drop, the girls are either going to do two things. Okay, so A, they're going to let the fans' opinions, okay, get to their head. And two, they are going to be feeling themselves. It's either one or the other girl. There is no in-between, child. And E.T., in this case, she let the fans get to her just a little bit, child. So y'all know that the fans was going to get on E.T. and clown her for basically having a swollen face. And yeah, so she basically responded to it. So let's go ahead and get into it. I want it to be known. Yes. Someone f- you in the face, your face is going to be swollen. Biggie did that one. No shade. Y'all see my new tea on the trailer? So y'all let me know how y'all feel about that. Clearly, she is basically trying to say that the reason why she was looking like that and her face was so swollen was because of Biggie, okay? Because Biggie was chunly in her all up in her face, champ. So aside from this, E.T. also cl- basically shared a collage. If you guys seen it, you've seen it. Y'all can go on the Zeus Hottest Tea and it is there. I'm not going to put it on this channel only because I don't want to get this video demonetized. But she showed, uh, she basically um took screenshots from the trailer and put it into a little collage of basically her mom 
mopping the girls or seemingly mopping the girls. She showed her getting a clear shot to Tessiki's face. She showed her getting Sapphire. She showed Tessiki's lip that looked like it was uh, leaking. She showed Sapphire's eye. She was showing off stuff like that in this little collage. And baby, this did not grow. <laughs> um, Tessiki didn't like this very much. Let's get into what Tessiki had to say. She went live. I told y'all, listen, I whooped that girl. I whipped that girl until she she told boss man production and I'm look, tell Tessiki my body hurts. That girl sent the message to me from the back. From behind those curtains, she said, My booty hurt, my everything hurt. I don't wanna fight no more. Mm -hmm. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. Cause me, one thing about me, I'm gonna teach you a lesson. I don't give two flying fucks if you think you can fight. I don't give a fuck if you can fight. I, Latifa Tasiki, is going to give you a fucking lesson. All right? Because first and foremost, I didn't come starting it. I know for a fact I didn't start it. I don't ever start problems. Ever. I solve them. Baby, you got what you asked for. I was going to beat your ass for who used to be my sister. Bitch, I was going to beat your ass for that. Then when she... Decided to not be my sister no more. It was all bets was off. We we became sisters, but you wanted to be a meatball ass bitch. And baby, that's what you get. You got rolled all around that plate, baby. That carpet was considered a plate. You're the meatball, and I just rolled your ass all around it. That's exactly what happened. Hey y'all, y'all see how I had the et cheeks? I gave her the cheeks. I gave Marsh the forehead. Okay, next I'm giving the body. Girl, listen, okay? Listen. Tessica did not like what E.T. had to say. Girl, I like I said, I honestly just can't wait until it's on the screen, girl. I, I really want to know what's tea, even though I kind of already know what's tea, but I really want to know what's tea. She said the carpet was the plate, you was the meatball, and girl, I was rolling you all up and down the stage, girl. It, listen, it really is just a mess. And can we please talk about, and I know that y'all love y'all some Tessiki, but can we please talk about how Tessiki only has a personality? <laughs> she only has a personality when it comes to, like, I feel like when it, when it's either at somebody else's demise or literally when it's about like getting into it with somebody like that's the only time this girl has a personality child but you know okay girl um you know this this i, I guess child but yeah clearly she did not like what et had to say and also when it comes to the reunion and a little um snippet on the trailer when automat called roly a monkey she also addressed that as well again automat put out a statement basically confronting the rumors that she is a colorist due to um you know her calling roly a monkey child so she said i'm gonna say this one time and one time I'm only y'all know I'm not racist nor colorist y'all know she built like a that's not a monkey that's a gorilla but anyways um y'all know she built like a gorilla all my best friends besides one dark skin hold on hold on all my best friends besides one are dark skin and brown skin my family is full of dark skins and I love them down y'all could never make me look like otherwise y'all could never make me look otherwise y'all let me know about um how y'all feel about that me personally I feel like there's no way that it's 2024 and you don't know the negativity um the ne you, there's no way that you don't know the negativity behind that word you know what I'm saying you there's no way it's it's 2024 like Evelyn, Evelyn got backlash for calling OG an orangutan baby on her season of Back with Basketball Wives back in the day. Erica Mena just got fired from Love and Hip Hop and multiple TV networks for calling Spice a blue monkey. So there's no way that you don't understand the the you there's no way that you don't understand the negativity behind that word you know what i'm saying honestly i feel like she right roly is built like girl but i'm saying though like you really could say anything else and technically you didn't say gorilla you said monkey you said monkey you didn't say gorilla you didn't say silverback which is honestly still negative, but it's like you you coming out with a statement and saying what you said would have made more sense if you would have slipped up and called her a silverback or a girl, but you didn't. You called her a monkey. Okay. <laughs> okay. Girl, whatever. You know what I'm saying, girl? I'm not, I don't even have enough energy in me to even really be getting into it because y'all gonna think how you guys are gonna think and she's gonna say what she is gonna say she said that she did not mean it like that she feels like Rolly is built like a gorilla um so that's why she called Rolly a monkey okay girl 
You got it. I'm going to take it with a grain of salt. I still feel how I feel, but there's no reason to still dwell on it. I just, I just, now, now I see how you move, baby. That's, I don't even got to talk about it no more. But y'all let me know how y'all feel about it. I am open to all opinions. But yeah. But that is all I have for y'all today. Thank y'all so much for tuning in. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe and turn on that post notification bell so you know every single time I post a new video. Girl, it's Messy Maya. It's the Messy Ma. We are lit over here. Trust and believe that and yeah. Bye. <laughs>